This video will show you step-by-step -step how to solve flow rate problems. For example one, you have a 500 ml bag of normal saline that is to be infused continuously over two hours using a 30 drop per ml administration set. What rate and drops per minute should the pump be set at? So it's important to note you have a 500 ml bag that is being infused over two hours and every ml has 30 drops and they want the rate in drops per minute. So for step one, you need to find out how many total drops are in the 500 ml bag of normal saline. And you can do this by setting up a proportion. So since 30 drops are in every ml, you can find out how many drops are in the 500 ml. So you just want to cross multiply these two and these two. And that's how you'll get the 15,000 drops. For the next step, you want to find out how many drops are being infused per hour. So you take the total drops of 15,000 and you divide that in by two hours because it's being infused over two hours. And you come up with 7,500. So every hour, 7,500 drops are being infused. So now that you know the drops per hour, you just divide by 60 minutes to get the drops per minute. And that will give you the answer of 125 drops per minute. So for example two, you have a 750 ml bag of D5W, which is to be infused at 70 drops per minute using a 50 drop per ml administration set. How long will the infusion take in hours. So you have a total of 750 mls and the rate of infusion is 70 drops per minute and every ml has 50 drops. And they want to know how long would the infusion take in hours. So the first step is to set up a proportion to find out how many mls contain 70 drops. So since there's 50 drops in every 1 ml, 70 drops contains 1.4 ml. And since 70, 70 drops are being done per minute, I'm trying to spell it, you can just convert that over to 1.4 ml per minute. So the next step is to set up another proportion to see how many minutes it will take to run that 750 ml bag. And this can be done so since 1.4 ml is being infused every minute, the 750 ml takes how many minutes? So once you set up the proportion and cross multiply, you come up with 535.7 minutes. So since there's 60 minutes in every hour, you just divide the 535.7 minutes by 60 minutes per hour, and that will give you the answer of 8.9 hours. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.